burqa, or full Islamic veil, is not an uncommon sight nowadays. But French President Nicolas Sarkozy used his State of Nation speech to attack it and defend France's secular principles. Sarkozy said the burqa was a sign of women's subservience and of being cut off from a social life and was not welcome in France. With these strong views, a government spokesman said a law could be introduced to ban the burqa from being worn in France. Although the burqa is not a religious symbol, it raises interesting questions for a country with a five million strong Muslim community. Critics have warned that this move will stigmatise Muslims and that any legislation will be nearly impossible to enforce. They also argue that France risks further criticism from abroad. Obama has already this month attacked France for its ban on the headscarf and all religious symbols in its schools, saying that no government should dictate what an individual wears. However, interestingly, there is significant support for measures against the burqa. Two out of the three Muslim women in the French cabinet support a ban. The chairman of the Muslim Educational Centre in Oxford says that there is no mention of the word burqa in the Quran and that essentially it is a draconian dress code enforced by men on women to subjugate them. Sarkozy is backing a full debate on the issue in Parliament. However, we want to know what you think. Is the burqa a threat to France's secular and republican principles? Should women have the right to choose? Would you welcome similar debates on this issue and other issues like this in the UK? Let us know by logging on to catch21.co.uk and leaving us a comment.